number four. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to get going with a band. If you want to be performing for a living, the first thing that you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to come up with at least three hours of music. You have to know three hours of music because a lot of the time, if you are going to be a working singer, you might be performing at a club, a bar, cafe, who knows, and they want to have sets of music. They might want to have you play from, let's say, 9 to 1 or 7 to 10 or who knows what time. But, and then they're asking you to, th then of course you're going to have to have certain sets um, when, when you do that and, and breaks in between, not play the whole, the full three, four hours. Um, so you have to have, you still have to have three hours worth of music. Um, and choose, if you have originals, put some, put some of those in there and also choose some covers that people recognize, something that's like top 40 maybe, and blend them in with maybe some music that you like too. But it's good to have songs that people recognize and stuff that's popular and um, so people know. And even if it's, you know, your own version of it, um, that's cool. So... The ultimate thing, I guess, would be if you play an instrument, because then you can just go there to the bar or wherever you're playing and um, just do it yourself. You don't have to count on anybody else um, being ready to help you out. But if you don't know how to play an instrument, of course, you're going to have to find some musicians. And I would suggest to maybe go out to casinos. Um, watch bands there usually bands at casinos they have to be on top of things they have to know their stuff so go there maybe um connect maybe they know some mus musicians they can uh, refer you to and uh so that's that three hours of music at least um find a band maybe play an instrument and then if you're just getting started and I would maybe try to go to a cafe first to kind of try try it out first um, here in Seattle they have a few places actually Starbucks have like two venues one in Issaquah and one in Seattle that has live music on well, the one in Issaquah, I think, has live, mu live music on Wednesday. And then I'm not really sure when the, uh, where the other place, what, when they have the, the, the live performance. But um, maybe wherever you are, uh, you're, maybe you're not in Seattle. So find out um, in your local neighborhood if there are any cafes that have live music. And then give them your, if you have a recording or if you have YouTube or, or a website, um, refer them to that and then try to get, get a gig that way so usually though cafes don't really pay so sometimes um, that's yeah like I said that's just to kind of start out try the waters and then uh, <clears throat> maybe try some of the restaurants or casinos even so that's my that's my suggestion for that. Make sure though when you go to rehearsals with your band um, to have everything prepared. Know the songs before you go to rehearsal. That's just one pet peeve that I have. If people aren't prepared and you go in rehearsal and then you're wasting everybody's time. So whatever you're doing, make sure that you are prepared. Know your stuff and uh you're good to go all right i hope that was helpful this time please uh like share subscribe if you like what you're seeing and uh, you can find me at jennifernewberry.com as well if you like to listen to my original music and also i do vocal coaching so if you are interested in maybe getting some vocal coaching 
just email me, email me at strawberrylife206 at gmail.com and uh, maybe we can set something up. And if you are in a different state, we can always do a Skype thing if that works out. So that's all. You guys have a great night. Talk to you later.